What do you think of when you hear the word economics? The stock market, banking, corporations, taxes, inflation, deflation, recession, credit, investments, booms and busts. It might be easier to start with your own life. Every day you make personal choices about how to spend your hard earned money. What books or sneakers to buy? What songs to download? You first might consider what you need. That is things that are essential for survival like food and shelter. And then what you want like a new tablet device. You satisfy your needs and wants with goods, physical objects that are produced like food, clothing, or yes, even tablets. You also satisfy your needs and wants with services like medical care or a really expensive haircut for your dog. Governments make the same decisions about how to spend money as you do, only on a much, much larger scale. For example, they might decide to spend public money on national projects like roads and bridges. They might decide to raise taxes to fund the military or education or to provide health care for citizens in need. If you read the news on the internet or watch it on TV, you'll find that many of the stories are really about economic decisions. But who makes these economic decisions exactly? Well, it depends on what kind of economic system we're talking about. Let's look at two examples. A communist economy is a type known as a command economy. In a communist country, the state owns all the means of production, such as factories and raw materials. The government decides what the people need and should get, and how those goods will be grown and manufactured. The United States has a free market system with no central authority dictating what needs are met for its citizens. In America, we mostly leave those decisions up to individuals and businesses, with the government retaining a role in regulating the economy. Now we know who makes the economic choices, but why do countries make the choices they do about where to spend money? Let's go back to those needs and wants. People may have unlimited needs and wants, but no one can have everything they need or want. Sooner or later, the goods run out. That's called scarcity. Scarcity forces us to make choices. For example, you may need to pay rent or buy food, so you can't buy that new tablet. You may decide to pay someone to paint your house instead of doing it yourself, because even though it costs money, it will save you another precious commodity, and that's time. Companies make choices too, like whether to hire new employees or upgrade their technology. Governments also have to make hard choices. For example, whether to use tax dollars to fix potholes, improve schools, or hire more police officers. We all have to make choices. Economists call them trade-offs, giving up one benefit to gain another, even greater benefit. Sometimes choices don't just involve things you can measure, like money or time. Sometimes we make choices like helping a neighbor that just feel good.